On this video today, I'm going to go over a case study that documents my journey to 50K months. And a good place to start is really the end. I want to talk a bit about these 50K months because in my case, I really set out to generate inbound traffic. I wanted to develop the ability to put content out on the internet and have that turn into a customer. So in this video, I'm really talking about how do you build an inbound client acquisition system and also attracting the people that you really love to work with, having people see the content and really pre-qualify themselves before they actually reach out to you. And also also attracting the people that are ready to go, not people that are just collecting more information and wasting your time. So before I got here, I was running a $2.6 million a year consulting company. I was on Inc. Magazine's fastest growing companies. And it was really after I sold that company that I noticed how important it was to get on video and use social media to grow your business. So here's my first LinkedIn video. I was super stressed out, but I really believed that this was the way to build the next business. So I went through it and figured it out. And now I'm helping a great group of clients grow their businesses, just like Lydia. When I started working with her, she wasn't using video and I encouraged her her to get onto TikTok and here she is now. And it's really totally transformed her business. You can head over to my website and check out the testimonials and actually listen to her full story. But after interacting and following a bunch of different people, seeing them start and stop, working with a bunch of different clients, I really started to hone in on what is the difference between the 99% of the people who want to do this but never do it or they quit and the 1% of the people that really get into this and make it work. So what I found was in reality, 99% of the people just never start. And I think that really comes down to them not believing that this can work for them. They see all these other people doing it, but for some reason their product isn't a right fit for online marketing, or they feel like it won't work for someone in their industry. I always find that there's this limiting belief that people just think it's not going to work for them. And for some of the people that do get past that, they just really never actually make it a priority. So they're not consistent. And because they're not getting any results, they ultimately quit. And so when we really look at the 1% of the people that start are consistent and win, what we see is that they really believe in themselves, that they can make this happen. They make it a priority and they start to generate sales from that. And if you're having trouble believing that this can work for you, you feel like you're in the wrong industry or it doesn't work for your type of product, or you can't see yourself on video, make sure to jump over to my testimonials. I've got videos from people from all sorts of industries, wealth advisors, CPAs, consultants, coaches, agencies, it works for everybody. Check this out so that you can gain that confidence so that you don't miss out on the opportunity. So now let's get into how do we actually attract clients into our business? And it starts with being able to generate traffic. So we're pushing out content online. We're putting out videos. And ultimately that is going to create traffic to some sort of product or funnel where someone can learn more information or book a call and ultimately buy our products. So the way we do that is by creating good content. And one of the most important things that I have to stress here is that content has to be good. If it's not good, it's not going to work. And so the way I like to get people thinking about this is you want to make sure that your content makes people say, wow, I'm glad I saw that. When they walk away from your video, they're going to be like, wow. And you want them to share this with their friends. You want them to put this into other communities that they're involved with. That's how you're going to create actual sales from your content. It's not necessarily about going viral. It's about making great content that people really resonate with. And a good way to get yourself into that frame of mind is really think about how can you give them a secret weapon that makes your target audience feel like they have a competitive advantage over everyone else that really gives them those aha moments and makes them say, wow. And another way to go about this is to use the $5 plus rule. This is where I say, make sure every time they see your content, that they feel like they got $5 or more from you and they will never get tired of seeing your content. So the way you're going to structure the content to actually be successful is you always have to attract attention and you're going to do that with a hook. You're going to start the video with something that they want or that they desire or something that they really want to avoid. And then the content has to persuade them. It has to tell a story such that it's going to be compelling enough for them to change a belief or to see you as the authority such that they will want to learn more about you. And then a good story and good content always inspires action. So there always has to be some sort of offer. And when I say offer, I don't mean that you have to offer them some sort of product. It just means that you're saying, hey, if you follow this advice, you're going to become the person that you want to be. So traffic is really important. You have to be able to generate traffic towards your services, your products. But one trap I do find people get into, I see this a lot online and I sometimes see this with my clients clients when they first start getting out is that they really focus in on tips and tricks and how-to information. They're giving away a lot of this information, but the target audience doesn't necessarily know that they have a problem yet. A lot of that information just flies over their head and they just don't pay attention to it. I see this a lot as well as people are just creating a lot of generic content. They're talking about general business things. They're talking about all sorts of different things and they're just trying to build their brand. But in reality, unless you're like Alex Hermosi or Gary Vee or one of these really popular figures like Grant Cardone, where you've had one of these massive successes, this type of content really isn't going to have an impact on people because it's not specific enough to where they are in their life.
life day to day. And then another thing that people get caught up on, especially on TikTok, is they feel like they have to follow trends or go viral. But in reality, what you need to do is you just need to create really relevant content for your target audience that makes them say, wow, makes them feel like they got a secret weapon. And then this is going to work for you. You're going to be able to generate traffic towards your products and services. So some of the tactics that you can use to deploy to really kind of get you focused on the type of content that you want to create is problem aware content. So talking about problems that your customers know they have, and then also using agitation type content. This is actually addressing the symptoms that they have day to day. Because a lot of times people don't necessarily know they have a problem. They're only experiencing the symptoms of those problems. So you want to create content that highlights those symptoms that people might be dealing with day to day. And then you're going to want to mix in some solution based content. This is really where you're talking about the various transformations that you've been able to achieve for yourself or your clients. So of course, you can put how to information inside content content like this. But what you'll notice is this content is really focused around the experience of your customer, the problems, the symptoms, and the outcomes they want to achieve in their business and in their life. But once you get this light, wherever you're capturing your leads, you're going to see leads coming in from the various places that you're publishing content. Like I publish a lot of content on YouTube and TikTok. So you see that coming through. And you're also going to see that they have money to invest in their business and their businesses that you actually want to work with. So now that we've talked about how we can capture the attention, how we can actually generate traffic, let's talk about how we actually convert that traffic into to clients. So you're going to need some sort of sales funnel. And the way that looks today is really your social media profile. So you're going to use your social media to establish authority based off of how large your audience is, and also talking very clearly about what you do, and then having all of the content that lets people really learn more about you, your personality, how you solve problems, how you think, all of those different things, people are going to get exposed to that on their own terms on your profile. And if and when they are ready, they can go ahead and reach out to you and you can provide some sort of link that will allow them to take further action. And I have that on both of my TikTok and also my YouTube channel. And it's really just important to be clear about what you do and how you help people. And as people build out these funnels, the main thing that I see that gets in their way is that they often provide people too many options. You can book a call, you can download a PDF, you can do this, you can do that, you can buy this, you can buy that. And people just get confused because they don't know what to do, what's right for them. And so they just choose nothing. And another problem I see is people are often sending their potential potential clients to a website, which is not a great idea because there's just too many things going on on a website. They're usually not clear enough and people just get lost and then leave. And so you don't want to do that. You want to send somebody to a place where they can get very clear, specific information about why they might want to work with you and how to do so. And they also just make the process too difficult. There's too many hoops to jump through. And so they just don't. And so here are some tactics that you can deploy to make sure that you're successful. You want to make sure that you have a very simple funnel. You want to make sure that you have very simple products, or at least they're described in very simple ways. And you want to make sure you have an easy process. So when I'm working with clients, we always build out a very simple funnel. There's usually some sort of built-in filter so that when you click my link on my social media profile, it's going to take them to a simple page like this, where I ask them a few questions. I built this out on Typeform. It's really clean. There's not a lot of distractions. They can say what they do. They can say what they need help with. You can ask them the basic pieces of information you need, like their name and their email. And then I can ask them their revenue. And these are some pre-qualifying questions that I can ask to really make make sure they're a good fit for us to work together. I don't want to waste their time. I don't want to waste my time. So I can use this as a filter before they can actually book a call with me. And once you get this dialed in and it's working well, there's a second option, which is a little bit more complex. You give them a basic choice. They can go through the filter that I just showed you, or you can invite them to some sort of free resource. A very popular option nowadays is to invite them to a community. So right now, if you click on the link on my social media profile, there's a way to work with me. And that's going to send you to the filter that I just showed you. And you can also join my free community, the Content Academy. This is a place where entrepreneurs hang out. We're talking about video. How do you scale that out? How do you create a lot of video? There's courses in here. And so what that really lets you do is build out an intermediate place where you can get to know people. You can provide a lot of value. And for those people that want to work with you, you can eventually book a call with them and then turn them into clients as well. And then after building out that simple funnel, you want to make sure that you're describing your products in a very simple way. I only present two products to the public and I've really honed in on what the marketplace is really needing at this moment. And what I try to do most of all is clearly outline a transformation. So in the content accelerator, I'm taking somebody that is unable to create video content that generates income. And I turn them into somebody that can create a video and make money from it. And then I also have media company, which takes somebody that's already creating a lot of video. They're actually generating revenue from it. And I'm helping them scale that out so they can build out a scalable revenue engine. So I'm really trying to make it very clear on what these products do so that people can attach to it and decide, yes, this is for me, or this just isn't a right fit for me. And that way you're really only 
only talking to the people that you need to talk to. And then of course, you wanna make this a very easy process. In my case, once they get through the filter or if they're in my community and they wanna talk, they can book a call. I'm very clear with what we're gonna do on that call. I also give them a 24 hour reminder email. I ask them to reply back so that I really start to establish a flow. I have a very simple sales process. And in most cases, I can just collect payment on that call if they're a good fit and they are ready to go. And when you're doing this right, it works very well. This is a client of mine, Kelly. And after we did some tweaks to their YouTube channel, she was able to book 10 new clients in a single month. So those are the main things you want to focus on when you are trying to convert clients online. You want a simple funnel, simple products, and an easy process. So where do we go from here? I'd love to invite you into my content academy community. This is a great place. It's growing quickly and there's all sorts of people in there doing video content. And there's also people in there trying to scale out their system so they can create a lot of content, a lot of traffic. And I'd love to invite you to the community. And if you want to join that community, just head over to academy.sgplabs.com. And if you feel like we're a good fit and you'd like to work with me, you can go ahead and go over to connect.sgplabs, answer a few questions. And then if we're a good fit, we'll talk and we'll see where we go from there. So as always, I hope you found that video valuable. Make sure to check out the next video that's going to pop up on the screen right here. It's going to show you how to create that engaging content that we talked about in this presentation. How do you make people say, wow, I'm glad I saw that. Check out the video. Can't wait to see you there. Have a good one.